Hey guys, and welcome back to Paints Plays Pokemon Emerald. In the last part, we got ourselves through Victory Road, and now we're at the Pokemon League, and about to take on the Elite Four. But before we do that, let me show off my new intro just for the Elite Four. Kick it! Now that you've seen the new intro, let me show you my team. I level them up all to level 50. Uh, Gracie is at level 50. You can see the stats there. And uh, it knows Shockwave, Bite, Spark, and Thunder. Fluff the Altaria is at level 50 as well. There's, there are its stats. And it knows Aerialis, Dragon Breath, Dragon Dance, and Fly. There's Carlos the Ludicolo, there are its stats, and its moves are Waterfall, Surf, Giga Drain, and Rain Dance. There's Bill Nye the Flygon, there are its stats, and its moves are Dragon Breath, Crunch, Screech, and Earthquake. There's Need for Speed, there are its stats, and its moves are Strength, Dive, Mudshot, and Muddy Water. And lastly, but not least, Prickles the Cat Turn, there are its stats, and its moveset is Faint Attack, Needle Arm, Spikes, and Hyper Beam. Now that you've seen my team and its moves and its stats and whatnot, let's get this started. I'll have Gracie out on front for the first fight just because we won't be affected of what's going to happen. But anyways, beyond this point, only those trainers who have collected all the gym badges are permitted to enter. Trainer, let us confirm that you have all of the gym badges. Trainer. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon and go forth. So, they believe in us. So, we're gonna not uh, fail in their beliefs. Oh, by the way, I did pick up a lot of items here. I got uh, up to 15 revives, 12 hyper potions, I get, and I got my love cookies and full heals. Up to the top. Oh, wait. Let's move this up here because I'll be using those between battles. But yeah, so I got a bunch of heal items, so. Yeah. Anyway, so this is the first of the four Elite Four. Sydney. Welcome, Challenger. I'm Sydney of the Elite Four. I like the uh, look you're giving me. I guess that you'll give me a good match. That's good. Looking real good. Alright, you and me. Let's enjoy a battle that can only be staged here in the Pokemon League. And so our first battle in the Elite Four has begun with Sydney. And... Really, there's no giveaway to what type of Pokemon he trains until he sends out his first one, which is a Mightyena, which is a pure dark type. Its ability is Intimidate, and its moves are Crunch, Double Edge, Sand Attack, and Roar. Yeah, and if you, of course, this has happened like a thousand times so far in the series, but Intimidate cuts our physical attack in half. But since uh, Gracie's a good special attacker, that's why I had him out front, because I can just use Shockwave which is a special type move, and that won't you know, take any effect from that physical attack cut. So that's really, really good. See, it took half the damage. Since Shockwave has never missed, that sand attack is not going to do anything to us. So we just do another one of these. And doom, doom, and doom. And we take out that mighty and, uh... Yep, we just did. In just two hits. Also, even though I'm saying out loud, like, what moves and abilities that the... Pokemon have, I'll still be putting them up on the screen in case, I don't know, I'll just, that way you, you have, in case you missed hearing it, then you, you're just looking at the screen, or whatnot, so, and now he's going to send out a shift tree, and the best Pokemon that we got for this is, uh, Fluff, because flying types are good against grass types, and, you know, yeah. So he's going to send out Shiftree, which is a grass dark type at level 48. Its ability is Chlorophyll, and, it moves, and its moves are Extrasensory, Double Team, Swagger, and Torment. So I'll start off with an Aerial Ace, because it knows Double Team, and it spams the crap out of that. So Aerial Ace is a never miss move, like we've seen a thousand times so far in the series. And it's very, very good to use. See, it took out half of its health right there. It'll probably use... Um, Swagger. Oh no, it's going to use extra sensory. He usually uses. He usually goes with double team and swagger. But 
be one with that instead with really did any damage to Fluff, which, hey, you know, I'll take that instead of Swagger, because that could have really actually hurt us a lot. And he wants to go 1,861 experience from that, and next he's going to send out Absol, which is a pure dark type, and actually his strongest on his team. Um, hmm, who do I want to send out, actually? I think I'll send out Need for Speed. Alright, so Absol is, like I said, the, a pure dark type. At level 49, it's his strongest member. Its ability is Pressure, and it actually has an item as Citrus Berry, and its moves are Sword Stance, Rock Slide, Aerial Ace, and Slash. So, yeah, I'll start off with a Mud Shot, because that'll lower its speed. Yeah, it's raising its attack, so it's going to go for a physical attack. Probably, um, Slash, because that's a very powerful move with a high chance of getting a critical hit. But with that raised attack, it could actually be a good threat to us, so... Lowering its speed, and, uh... Yeah, I think I'll follow up with the strength here. I was going to withdraw Absol for... Who's going to send out Cacturn? Oh. Wasn't expecting that, but... Yeah, he's actually... In my practice battles against him, I've actually never had him switch before, so that's... Different, but, you know, I'll send out Fluff, because Flying Type is good against Grass. So, anyways, uh... Cacturn is, well, as we have of our, one of our own, is a Grass Dark Type. Its ability is Sand Veil, and it knows Faint Attack, Needle on Leech Sheet, and Cotton Spore. So it has a different move than ours. But, you know, it's still a weaker version of our Cactor. But uh, anyways, I'll use um, uh, Aerial Ace, because it's a very reliable move, and it's quite powerful. But, um, so he just used Cotton Spore on us on the previous turn, and what that does is it lowers the speed drastically. Like, Fluff is a fairly fast Pokemon, much faster than that Cacturn, but it lowered, it lowered it, our speed so much that I got it down below the Cacturn's speed. Anyways, next, he's going to send out... So he's going to send out next. Okay, he's going to resend out Absol, so I don't even need to talk about him. I'll just resend out Need for Speed, because why not? I always like that, the cry that Absol makes. I know it's overrated, but Absol is just one of the coolest Pokemon in my opinion. Just the look, and its Mega Evolution just makes it even cooler at adding the wings to it and whatnot. So, yet, oh yeah, Perkin and Wright is going to use Slash, but I think since it switched out, its uh, attack raised did was no longer in effect. So that's good. And we took out that Absol without much trouble. Yeah, I know I'm a bit over level for the first guy, but trust me, the difficulty level rises drastically with each train on the Elite Four that we fight, like you will see within the next battle. Which I'll, I'll actually be doing these by parts, so each battle that we do will be separated by a part. So, you know, fight the first guy, that, and that's a part, and you know, whatnot. So, he's gonna send out his last Pokemon, which uh, is Crawdont. So I'll send out Gracie. And he's going to send out Crawdog, which is a water dark type at level 48. The ability Hyper Cutter, and its moves are Sword Saiyan, Strength, fa Facade, and Surf. And so I'll do a um, Spark. Because that's a that has the chance to paralyze, and... Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting a one-hit KO, but we got it, so... <laughs> well, we just took out the Crawdont and Gracie Gill 1656 experience, and we defeated Elite Four Sydney. Well, how do you like that? I lost. Yeah, it was fun, so it doesn't matter. Bane's got 49... Not 49,000. 4900 uh, $40 for winning. $49,000. that would be amazing. But anyways... Well, listen to what this loser has to say. You got what it takes to go far. No. Go on to the next room and enjoy your next battle. Alright, so we beat Sydney. I know these parts are going to be kind of short, but you know, I, I kind of like this little cinematic feel of doing one battle per part. So, yeah, in the next part, we'll take on the second uh, trainer in the Elite Four. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.